concrete and cement are grey, dull, hard, bulky and inert. They are not interesting. As a result, they are on the chemistry GCSE syllabus. Here is an example of concrete. Concrete is used to make large buildings in the modernist style. It was also used to make the Colosseum in Rome, which was much older. Concrete consists of cement mixed with gravel and is very, very hard. It is originally made from calcium carbonate which is then heated and like many carbonates when heated it loses its carbon dioxide and it is released and turns into quicklime calcium oxide which then has a very strong exothermic reaction when mixed with water which causes it to become calcium hydroxide. Here is a conch shell. This shell is also made of calcium carbonate. It's quite large. The distinctive thing about conch shells, or shells in general, and a lot of organisms in the sea, is that they have hard parts or skeletons made of calcium carbonate. Now the thing about carbonates, as I've explained before, is that they dissolve easily in acids. Now the cement industry, and the construction industry in general, as well as the burning of fossil fuels, produces a lot of carbon dioxide uh, because it needs to drive it off from the calcium carbonate that it uses to make cement, concrete and so forth. And as a result there is more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide when mixed with water forms carbonic acid and that starts to dissolve the shells of the animals that live in the sea, which is not terribly good really, is it? So as a result that happens. Now why is concrete boring? Well it's grey. The reason it's grey is because it's a mixture often of dark iron oxide and light calcium compounds, usually slaked lime, which is calcium oxide with water put on it, which produces a lot of heat. And as a result, it is very grey. It's hard because of the strong bonding between the molecules, atoms and molecules in it. It's bulky because it's easy to produce. It's actually one of the, it's probably the commonest cement, it's probably the commonest chemical manufactured in the world. More than a billion tons are manufactured each year. In other words, every year enough concrete is made, enough cement is made to construct a small asteroid. So it's quite impressive. I mean if that smashed into the earth from space you would know about it or maybe you wouldn't because you'd be dead. So that's quite interesting. Now, I'm going to put a diagram up on the screen in a second. Right, limestone, which is not around here, is calcium carbonate. It's also very boring. If you heat it with sand, you get, and then heat it with sodium carbonate, you get glass. If you heat it with clay, you get cement. It's formed, it's a sedimentary rock formed from fossils of animals with calcium carbonate skeletons, such as foraminifera. It can be used to neutralize acid soil. It can be used in lumps itself for building. And it can be used in other ways. If you heat it in a kiln, like I said, and also in a Bunsen flame, it becomes calcium oxide and then becomes calcium hydroxide when slaked. That's quicklime becoming slaked lime, which when dissolved in water becomes lime water. And then when you breathe through it, because your breath contains carbon dioxide, it becomes milky, the liquid becomes milky, it's called lime water for that reason. And that is another form of neutralization because of the acidity of carbon dioxide when dissolved in water. So it forms calcium carbonate particles, small calcium carbonate particles. And that actually makes it a test for carbon dioxide as well. So it's quite useful in that way. So that means also that the atmosphere of Venus, the reason why there's so much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of Venus and it's so hot is because the heat of the sun caused the, well it's one reason why it's so hot, but the heat of the sun caused the uh, calcium carbonate in the rocks, so the carbonates, to become oxides and as a result there's a load, all the carbon dioxide that was previously in the carbonate rocks is in the atmosphere and as a result it's really hot because carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, well that, that wasn't the original reason why that happened. So that's all I've got to say for today. Uh, that covers uh, most of what the AQA GCSE syllabus on limestone, concrete and cement has to say. And if you like this video, please rate, comment and subscribe and share. 
If you dislike this video, please tell me why so I can improve, and I'll see you tomorrow. May it be less boring. <laughs>